Welcome people, thanks for coming back to the channel. Welcome to my vlog. More items on the Tesla Model 3. Accessories, add-ons, extras. If you've seen part one, great. If you haven't, go and have a look. This is part two, I did promise this. Um, just to go around the vehicle again and show you a few more little mods or whatever you want to do at not so great money. So let's do it. Okay, first one I'm gonna talk about on this part two is something that is not for Tesla per se. The Model 3 has got a great, or not so great, sentry mode. It has a decent built-in dash camera to the front, which if you bib your hooter, it will record. Um, and on other things, it's even got a crash camera. Just above that mirror there is an actual camera. Don't think it's picking it up, but anyway, moving on. Yeah, so cameras everywhere on these Teslas. Now I've just sold my BMW i3, and in that little i3, I had uh, a front aftermarket camera and a rear aftermarket camera, which were always on. They never went off. Uh, and I wired them up straight from 12 volt sockets, boom, 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 hidden it all in the plastics and, and did that. With the Tesla, it's a bit more difficult because there ain't no 12 volt sockets in the back like there was in the i3. So I've had to like use the front, put the wire through underneath, up here, underneath the seat, and back into the, the rear. Now I've done this because I've noticed since I've had this car, I don't know what it is about BMW fossil drivers and, and, and some other brands, but I, I, they do stick out to me more than anything else. They seem to be right up, either right up your bum, as they say here in England, uh, your backside, or they kind of break a bit hard when you're behind them. Sorry BMW drivers, I know it's not all of you, but it, it is a few. Um, very strange. So I wanted this camera in the back so that I had that security option because I have been involved in a very small accident before and it was I was like I went into the to the back of somebody. Luckily I had cameras and he was brake checking me. Brake checked me three times actually, went through the insurance company uh, and I will mention them, Tesco, who were very very good uh, and they made him pay for all the damages on both cars and wouldn't pay out, uh, his insurance wouldn't pay out whatsoever. So that was a great one to win. And that was purely because I had cameras front and back. I seen him coming up my back, they, see what, they saw what speed he overtook me, they saw exactly what he did in front. So this is why I put this camera in here. Let me, let me show you how I've done it. In here, there is a 12 volt socket. So I bought one of the cheapest full HD cameras it's not 4k but it's it's a very sharp picture for what it is it's binatone i got this from argos and i have this in my bmw i3 i've not used it for about six months got it out plugged it in here and you see the wire going back and it's through through that corner there look it's not getting squashed at all it then it leads down here this is the only bit of wire that you can see and i can't really lose a great deal of it i could pull it back and then you lose some of this further under there but I didn't know how much I'm going to want for this so it goes under there under the carpet and then under this back seat now let me just show you something that's very easy with Tesla back seat removal down here there is little white pushing levers can you see them they push it in and it ejects the seat up easy to do and really good a good idea so they're the two white clips once you push the white clips up, this seat lifts out. They're a devil to get back in. But underneath here, underneath the rear seat, there is some very smooth steel. So you're not gonna jar or cut any leads. So I just wired it underneath the seat, took this one back, it goes up the back here, and then trails out, believe it or not, the seat belt hole. Threaded it through there, very simple. And then the other bit of wire you can see is that, and then there is the binatone which comes on as soon as you enter the car. That's the Binatone dash cam. Any will do, but I do recommend a little Binatone because it's cheapest. A very wise thing to put in. Okay, number two. Now, this is something I should have mentioned on part one, and I didn't because I did mention here, these, okay? These scuff plates, like carbon fiber style finish. If you can hear a, a buzz in there, it's my aircon on, because it's a warm night. So, let me just explain what I didn't explain in part one. 
I have the rears. The rears fold round all the way around to here, come underneath the seat and again flush into this rubber seal and finish quite well here on the joint. And again, it says Model 3 on it. Again, a pair. Now, I'm, I'm sure you can buy these single, but I forgot to mention in part one that I actually bought these as a four piece set for just under 30 quid, uh, along with the two fronts. Didn't buy them separate. So that clears that one up because I felt uh, that I missed on that. So that's number two, and this is the rear protective kick plates for model three. Okay, number three uh, up next is a, an interior again. Um, didn't mention it on part one again because I bought it as a separate item. You can buy this as a three part piece with two other items I did mention in part one. Simply rubber inserts for your cup holders, okay? Very easy to take out, although this has been difficult. There you go. So there's the originals as it looks with the Tesla Model 3. This is the rubber insert cup holder. What it does, it just tightens the, the gap on these for more of a, of a UK size cup, uh, even the tall ones. Um, so yeah, and also in the middle of this, you've got like a little container, which is quite nifty. Get your pound coins in there, hidden away if you wanted to, or any change or whatever. Um, but that just knocks back on there, and then they simply go in there. Um, depending on how you get it in, there is a, a tiny gap around it, not normally, but that's probably the way I put it in. But yeah, rubber cup holders. Also, if you spill anything, dead easy to get out because you can just take it out, get rid of the spill, and it's not going to affect all your original middle console. So that is number three. And again, Amazon if you need to, eBay, whatever. Nice little nifty bit of kit. Again, focus, staying with the interior, you've probably just noticed something else that was across my sender console that wasn't in before. It's something I wanted, and I waited till they were on offer, because their normal price of what I'm gonna show you in a moment is around 55 quid delivered. I didn't wanna pay that. So I waited till they were down to 45 pound, tenner off. Again, free delivery, again, next day delivery, if you've got Prime. From Amazon let me show you this one this baby here now in here and you've seen all my goodies before in here at the bottom of this there are two USB C's that is now completely filled in with this cable that comes up here look to this now I bought the top fit version of this purely because I wanted the best one looked at the reviews and it, it turns out that the top fit fits nicely and it's got the blue haze around here I expected this blue haze to stay on all the time until the car went off but it doesn't but let me just show you what it does when you plug one in now there's two regular USB one is for data one is for high-speed charging and then there's two small USBs which obviously you've just lost in there and again I think one's for data and one is for regular USB so let's just pop it in uh, for example I will charge my phone bear with me phone is now on charge and as you can see there is now a nice lovely blue haze all the way around the unit and it's still light in the dark it's, it's it's far more fetching believe me trust me and then of course as soon as you pull that out it goes off I understood it to stay on but they don't so plug it back in again as you just heard my iPhone go bling it goes again to a blue lovely neon color if that's what you want to call it around the edges which is great so that's the top fit like I say normally around 55 quid was it worth it in the long run yeah I think it gives a bit more design to this center console it fits great it doesn't affect anything you know you can still do all, all this malarkey it doesn't affect the way that that slides back or whatever and you get the blue neon so that's number four top fit USB and data add-on well worth it okay I was gonna make this a quick one and I'm gonna to keep to my word this is number five only a quick five on this I did ten last time I'm gonna finish off with this last one here can't really show it you as we speak because it's not dark enough I might give you an idea of what it is now underneath I'm gonna tell you here anyway underneath each door of the Tesla you have got what they call puddle lights 
In other words, if you're going to get out and there's water in the big puddle, you stand in it if you see it with a light. You stand in it if you see it in the dark, even if you haven't got the puddle light. But anyway, they're there. And they are built into the bottom of the doors. Um, and I was a bit nervy because I'd heard a few reviews on these things and one or two people were saying that, oh, I shorted all my lights out and it cost me a fortune at Tesla to get them right again. And I was a bit iffy, but I think that they were just being a bit zealous on the job. What I'm gonna show you now took me no more than about a minute for each one. There is four, came in a pack of very, very cheap 16 pound delivered. I thought it was a great price. So 16 quid delivered. I'm gonna show you now what they look like in the dark. I'm gonna show you something that I fitted to the car. Cheap, real easy to do, but I think it looks really effective. So, let's have a look. There you go. That's the same on all four doors. Very bright, very good. Tesla emblem. And be even darker if the, uh, my outside light ain't come on. There you go. So yeah, well worth the fit. So I will go on to unlock a port. There you go, that's a better look. Now you can see them in the dark. Super bright. So let's check this out. And there you go. Off it goes. That is another five to the collection on extras, add-ons, accessories on the Model 3. Hope you get something from it. Hope you go and maybe buy one. Uh, if you didn't like all five, I apologize dearly. Like I say, one out of the five was a universal product, nothing to do with actual Tesla, but I do recommend you go and have it put on the vehicle or just buy it yourself. Thread it through, like I said, that rear uh, camera, very useful thing. It just backs up everything else in case anyone's being a tart at the back of you. And there's plenty of them on the road, folks. Thanks for watching again. If you're not subscribed, why not? Where you've been, I always say that. If you have any comments, please, please drop below. I always answer them, always try to. But hopefully you enjoyed the content. We'll see you again very soon. Meantime, get out of here. Mm -hmm.